also the shift of marketing um, in terms of its priorities in moving to lead generation and given that the company website has now become the most important marketing asset is that you, it's, you cannot, companies cannot identify potential sales leads currently or until now um, from their website. The best thing that they can do, and we'll show you some slides, I'll show you some slides on this, the best thing that they can do is try and encourage people to fill out forms, to ask for a newsletter, to ask for a contact, us, to register for an event, okay? And that, that's what people do at the moment, is that they try to put great content, great thought leadership content out in the marketplace. So that people will try and encourage people to register so that they can get their contact details and then follow them up. But less than 2% of website visitors do that. And I would argue that that 2%, I mean, how many, who's filled out a form, who's generally, who is generally here, okay, been wanting to buy a product or a service from a company and filled out a form on their website? You just don't do it. Most people don't do it, okay? So the people that are filling out the forms and stuff are the ones that might be competitors or they're just doing research on a, you know? I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so then you've also got the situation where marketing's in charge of generating all these leads. But because marketing has been passing all these leads to sales, which are originated from the website, from people that they sent newsletters to, and, they, and all it says is it says that Gary's opened a newsletter or Gary's filled out a form. Sales look at it and they go, okay, I don't know who this guy is, right? I don't know, I don't know what his pain is. I don't know what his need is. Why, why should I send him an email or try cold call him when I'm going to look like an idiot? You know, I've got no intent. I've got no understanding of his pain. So thank you very much. 80% of sales leads, 80% of potential leads that are generated by marketing are ignored by sales. This the sales director currently spends, still spends, 25% of his time, which is very expensive, on lead generation. Now, do you think the sales director would be better doing lead nurturing and lead management? Okay, just managing people through the sales process rather than generating them themselves? 